Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson about the distributive property. So what we're gonna do is the first page you're gonna take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so what exactly is the distributive property? Well, I, what I did is I wrote it right here. The, the distributive property is an algebra property which is used to multiply a single term and two or more terms inside a set of parentheses. So let me show you what that, what that means. So let's say we have a single term, say three. And what that means is we're gonna multiply that three times another set of two or more terms. So we could say x plus four. So what this means is we have three groups of the x, which equals three x. And then we have three groups of the, of the four, which is 12, so it's plus 12. So three times x plus four equals three x plus 12. So basically what this means is we have three groups of what's inside the parentheses. If we had, uh, say if this three was a five, then it'd be five groups of what's inside the parentheses. Uh, say if this three was a 10, then it'd be 10 groups of it. So let's try some of these problems. Here we have four groups of happy face plus sad face. So we're gonna distribute the four to the happy face and that gives us four happies and then plus we're going to distribute the 4 to the sad face. So that's going to be 4 sad faces. And that's it. Uh, let's try this one. Here we have three groups of x plus y. So 3 times x is 3x. Plus 3 times y is 3y. Now this one's a little different because notice we have a subtraction sign here. So this is going to be 5 groups of 2x, which is 10x. And now this subtraction sign belongs to the one, so we could say this is a negative one. So five groups of negative one is negative five, or just a minus five, okay? Uh, you might learn this thing called add the opposite, where you make this a plus, and then make that a negative, right? So if you do five times negative one, there's a the negative five right here. And then finally, we now have a negative single term on the outside, right? So negative two times seven x will be negative 14 x, and then negative two times the negative four, well, negative times a negative is a positive, so it's gonna be plus eight. All right, so now that you understand a little more about the distributive property, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you have these problems. So here we have uh, seven groups of 5x plus two, okay? So it's gonna be seven times 5x, which is 35x, plus seven times two gives us 14. So it's 35x plus 14. Now here we have a negative eight, right? So it's gonna be negative eight times three x, which is negative 24x. And then negative eight times nine, which is negative 72. So we're gonna say minus 72. And then finally, we have two groups of negative 4x minus 3. Well, 2 times negative 4x, that'll give us a negative 8x. And then 2 times negative 3, that'll give us a negative 6. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?